episode two is out. And so I'm like, all right, there's too much going on in the world right now. This war in Israel, it's scary. It's depressing. We're watching all these videos come out. Tom Myers is going to cheer me up, make me feel better about myself. He's got the jokes. Let's check out his monologue. Now he makes it very clear. Kevin McCarthy was ousted as the, um, the house of representative speaker right before they recorded. So he's got to figure out a way to pivot as they're doing that. And he's got a new guy here. Who's like a giggle factory. <laughs> this guy who's on his show. Wasn't Jeff Hein? Jeff Heisen. Heisen. This guy out giggles Jeff Heisen. I know. And they take turns too, which is interesting to listen to. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Tom Myers versus the rest of the world. A lot has been happening literally right before we started recording. Kevin McCarthy was ousted as Speaker of the House uh, in a floor vote. Uh, of course, we don't know what's going to happen by the time uh, this episode does drop. So uh, to cover all contingencies, I want to thank you for tuning in and missing the 38th floor vote for Speaker of the House. <laughs> Congrats. That wasn't the joke. So this is the new giggle guy. So you heard Tom set this whole thing up. Okay. We don't know what happened. We know that Kevin McCarthy's out. We don't know who's going to replace him. So I'm going to back this up because this is not, this is the setup to the, to the, the non jokes you're about to hear. A thank you for tuning in and missing the 38th floor vote for Speaker of the House. <laughs> Congratulations, Speaker Matt Gates. Oh, Congratulations, Speaker Lauren Boebert. Congra- All right, so, so far, if these are two Republicans in the House of Representatives. <laughs> There's no way it's going to be them. Get it? So that's why he's saying, just in case, in the future... You guys aren't laughing hard enough. Let me back this up. Let me make sure you guys are understanding these jokes here. This is political humor. Maybe you guys don't understand how funny uh. this is. <laughs> Congratulations, Speaker Matt Gates. Oh, Congratulations, Speaker Lauren Boebert. Oh. Congratulations, Speaker the Corpse of Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> Oh, now it's his I think that covers everything. <laughs> He's an animated monster for a breakfast cereal. <laughs> yeah, right. Whoa! <laughs> so, for whatever reason, the animated corpse of Rush Limbaugh is going to get voted to be the Speaker of the House. Because I don't know if Tom knows this, but Rush Limbaugh was always just a uh, media personality and a radio host. He was never yeah. once in Congress. There's no dead so politicians even, you could... Doesn't even make sense. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of other things we could have gone for, but okay. Whatever. So, let's uh, let's talk about more of these jokes. On this one, Giggle Guy gets it right away. <laughs> Jeff Heisen takes four full beats to laugh. Go ahead and count it home. This is a crazy delay. This is known as a, as a historic... Uh, motion and a historic vote because we've never ousted a speaker of the house before it's also historic in another way and that this is the first time that matt gates has been obsessed with someone over the age of 18 (laughs) (laughs) there he is oh that was the joke (laughs) oh you're done laughing okay yeah all right As as soon as you're done then i'll start it up okay now i know that you know who george santos is yeah. You covered him on the All Apologies podcast. George Santos is this Republican, so he's already evil, but he's also a liar. He made up a lot of bullshit about his past and things that he had done. And you know who's not going to forget that anytime soon is our boy Tom Myers. So he's always ready to bring up George Santos and make him the punchline, no matter what the setup is. It always works. A replacement was made for the late Senator Dianne Feinstein. And, of course, who else decided to come out against it but George Santos, who cited an article in the Constitution that doesn't exist for why she shouldn't have been appointed? I think he was getting that article of the Constitution mixed up with his resume. (laughs) His resume mixed up with his resume. George Santos has a fake resume. This is a good uh, 
method now. All he has to do is say it like that. Oh, it'll get me every funny. time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, obviously, these people are still talking about Trump. And bless their hearts, they still think Trump's going to prison. It's it's incredible. These people have been thinking this since 2016. That he's going to prison. Donald Trump was in a New York City court on Monday for his fraud trial there. Some commentators said they felt bad for his lawyers who looked pained at being in that court with him. <laughs> Considering all of his legal woes, there is one person I'll feel bad for. The guy who has to do the cavity search on Trump when he goes to prison. And they have to remove all the compacted Big Macs that he didn't pass. Oh. 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 <laughs> Jeff Heisey goes, oh. And the giggle guy goes, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. All the Big Macs. You see, he did it wrong. Yeah. Well, he'll get back to it. Don't worry. He's got, he's got his uh, inflection going, coming up. But. This fucking retard. His joke was Big Macs that he didn't pass yet. It was I going to find doing a cavity search. I mean, <laughs> it's insane. There's so many angles. There's so many things you could goof on Trump for. All right, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so now uh, Jeff is just embarrassed for Tom on this one. And you can hear it in his voice. Florida has a new COVID outbreak. Brought on by that state's governor, Ron DeSantis, urging people not to get their updated booster shots. How embarrassing for that state to have a virus spread. And it's not caused by the people who make the bang bus videos. Oh. <laughs> Jeff Heisen just like, oh, really? Doing bang bus jokes on here? Is that what we're doing? It's also wild to me how ill-informed these people are. Like COVID doesn't or the, the booster doesn't stop the spread of COVID. But these people still live in a reality where that it does. It's like these idiots aren't getting their boosters. Yeah. And now COVID is spreading. Like, what well, doesn't make a difference? I don't know. <laughs> it's like they, a you know, they have to keep going with the. They drink the Kool Aid. Yeah. So God forbid. But that then when the company comes out, change your mind. When about- Pfizer comes out and says, "Yeah, no, we never even tested to see if it stopped the spread." Like they literally came out and go, "Yeah, no, it doesn't do that. We never even ch- checked for it." Yeah. You well, would think that someone would be like, "Oh, we should stop saying that it does that." Tom Myers would have to admit that he was wrong. You can't do that. That's a good point. Tom Myers is both dumb and smug, which is a fun combination yeah. for someone to be. Okay. So now we're going to see. Um, he's talking about this guy, Larry Cud- Cudlow, and he's bringing out all the guns for this one. This is Larry Cudlow criticizing people who are supposedly criminals. He used to be with the most corrupt presidential administration in history okay that's a couple that's a couple fun ones in a row producer chris is back i want to make sure he hears it's just the way i talk now this is how comedians deliver oh, is it jokes back? yeah oh, he took a break for a second oh no this is great you know what it is i think it's when he has less confidence in his joke he puts this on even more so <laughs> this is larry kudlow criticizing people who are supposedly criminals he used to be with the most corrupt presidential administration in history that's like chris D'Elia lecturing us about sexual deviants who prey on teenagers so this is why opie's always doing a stupid voice yes <laughs> i actually talked about that with eric zane we were watching some opie clips when i was doing uh the who are, uh the anthony kumia show and it was remarkable to me watching Eric watch Opie, who's not as familiar with him as we are. She's like, why does he keep doing that? What is he doing? I'm like, well, because he has no thoughts in his head and no personality. So you have to just do all these voices and inflections and, you know, act like you're interesting. He's a stupid hack, Eric. Yeah, right. He's, he's not good at this. So that's why he's doing that. All right. So let's get some more inflection going. That, that's not enough. They ran an actual Biden-Harris campaign ad on Fox. An ad that wasn't produced by the Babylon Bee. Mm. That's how desperate they are. <laughs> That's how desperate they are. <laughs> <laughs> we got him again, <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> All right, this is the last joke from his uh, monologue on uh, episode two of season four. And listen to the woman's reaction. The woman just goes, oh, God. And if I were in her head, and I think I am, she's thinking, 
That's the lowest hanging fruit possible. You could definitely do better than that with for a punchline. Dane Cook married his 24-year-old girlfriend, whom he said he'd been dating for six years. Bob Barker would be proud of him. He didn't go over. <laughs> <laughs> Yet another bit that Dane Cook stole, this time from Chris <laughs> Another bit that he <laughs> stole, banging teenage girls. Yeah, he must have stole that bit from that one other guy. <laughs> yeah, no one's ever done that before. No one's ever done that before. Could have thrown out Seinfeld, every person ever. I don't know. <laughs> Just <laughs> possibility. He's a fucking hack this time. I didn't time even Myers. know there was a woman there. No, you wouldn't because she hasn't been trained to fake laugh when Tom stops talking for a second. Yeah. Who are these podcasts? 